Hi everyone, Mansi this side. I welcome you all to the exam with YouTube channel. So before starting this video about how to prepare for MA history examination, I will like to give a brief introduction about myself. Uh, I have done my graduation in commerce and accountancy from Aliga Muslim University this year only. And I gave JNU, DU and all of uh, these examination of Central University for history. And hopefully uh, get, I cracked all of them. So now I will uh, give you some insight about the examination and what I learned from my experience and how a person who is not from BA history background can crack this examination with the right strategy and if he prepare dedicatedly so to bring that dedication to motivate that motivation you need to be very focused about why why you want history why you are approaching history what is your reason so be very clear because this your reason will provide you the motivation you need throughout the, the journey journey because History is a subject which is very vast. Take care. Uh, it can't be prepared like you can't be like one year uh, or one month. I will prepare one month and I will crack a JNU or 15 days or I will join some crash course. It is not like that. History is not like that. You can't approach the subject like that if you want, really want to enter into JNU. So now coming up to the main part. So being like i will tell you how you can start from scratch and which area you need to focus more about so all of you know the resources and i will be showing you the book list here only like images so that you can see like what i refer so and your question we should make notes or we should not make notes or what i will answer all of them so these are the books basically I refer like and people say that you can refer. I will mention the books I refer. I refer Bipin Chandra. Okay. So as I was not from history background, so I need to clear uh, my base. You need to have a thorough understanding of the subject because we know the paper is about, paper is all MCQs. Okay? But we don't know what we see in the paper. So we should have at least an understanding of the subject, a thorough understanding of the subject. We should know what we are reading. We should not, it, should be not, it shouldn't be like that. We are mugging up the facts because the paper is factual. No, you should develop a deep insight of the subject. And uh, I approached, uh, I read uh, Bipin Chandra and then I read from Plasi to Partition, Shekhar Banopadhyay. And this book is must must read you can't skip this it has historiography of the subject um very good book and you need to read this at least four times okay develop your base from here and develop your skills here okay for medieval india you can read Med uh, satish chandra both of them parts very good books and uh, from ancient India, you can read um, first build your base from Arish Sharma. Then uh, when you have read three to four times Arish Sharma, then come to Upendra Singh. Okay, don't directly jump to Upendra Singh because it is a difficult book. It is a bulky book. Okay, you won't be able to understand anything like uh, you will end up losing like I won't do this. But yeah, take it easy. First uh, go with Arish Sharma and then with Upendra Singh. And plus, what I also refer was Ignu nodes. Ignu nodes are very helpful to fill up the gaps which are left in these books. Bas basically, social, economic, and technological architecture part you can cover from Ignu nodes very well. Good. So these were basically the sources which you can use. And this is a brief history of modern India. Okay, Rajiv Ahir, uh, all of you might know this book. But like you can, it is like a summary book, okay? So it won't give you that insight. If you refer both of them, it's well and good. You need not to refer Rajivahi. It's all about how much time you have to devote to the subject, okay? And uh, now after discussing the sources, I will like note notes, whether you should make your own notes or not. It's all depend upon your you, like how 
you like how much time you can devote to the preparation uh coming up to me i make my own notes and note doesn't means that you want you need to print your own new book as the paper is not subjective it is not going to test your writing skills so work on your objective skills okay so you need to make very brief short notes like uh playful cards you can make if you have time firstly make charts make charts and charts and lot of charts because they are the key i uh, entire medieval india i covered through charts and i made my own charts and the uh, i can give you a rough sketch of charts like this can be the uh, date of the uh, reign of the ruler this can be the name of the ruler with his title he has this can be the book uh, written during his uh, uh, period this can be the wars he fought this can be the architecture built under him and the next page remains blank and you add some trivial some like some questions which are you find while reading like this can come like you can write statement about a simple fact which doesn't fall in any of these column so you need to make charts you need to make charts and there is no escape from this if you are really concerned about cracking this examination now as i talk about notes and i talk about resources and now i will like to uh, talk about that how you can prepare like how what you need like uh, if you are starting from scratch so first you need to build your base regarding the same and if you have done your uh, uh, graduation in history so your base is already there so now the approach you need to adopt is little different from what did you did in your ba examination so what you need to do is in ba you were going through the subjective part of the study so not memorizing that much facts and not memorizing many things so in this you need to change your strategy when you read arish sharma now and when you read bipin chandra concentrate more or more on factual knowledge more like you need to know the passage what it what it is saying what it is all about but you need to memorize the facts take note of them each and everything okay the history syllabus is very vast you know so it will be better if you make notes because at the end you won't be revising books simply as simple as that and if you are serious you should make them now how what else i can tell you about my experiences about jnu bhu so this year jnu entrance examination of ma uh, if you analyze the paper you will see the 50 to 60 percent paper is all about your english comprehension skills it's not about history anymore so and if i tell you that we we went to the examination hall with the mindset that we will be getting 20 to 25 uh, questions from the passages and uh, remaining history question and we end up having 50 to 60 question from the passages and remaining history question so there was all of sudden a time mismanagement in our mind so how to tackle the uncertainty of the examination you need to learn this so to uh, do this 50 to 60 comprehension question in 3 hours time you need to have a good reading skills and how you can develop that you can develop that by reading you are already reading books for your ma entrance examination but you can read some if you have time you can read some extra books or you can basically just read newspaper editorials they will help you a lot and they will make you aware about what's happening around the world so improve your language first thing you need to do do this because exam is unpredictable this was about jnu what i learned from my jnu experience that it was more about how i am able to analyze what our author is saying in the passage then secondly about bhu examination bhu examination this year 
I saw that there was lot of emphasis on world history. So for world history, uh, there was questions about map based locations or very much uh, prevalent about Arabian Peninsula and Central Asia and all this. So you can't skip anything. You can't skip world history. So, uh, so how to approach world history? To approach world history, they are. you can uh, like pdf is available of uh, uh, igno material uh, basically important topics so you can do this or you can read 11th and 12th ncrts 9th and 10th ncrts on world history and they are very good so you can do that and basically you can enhance your knowledge on map based question by analyzing the map now coming to post independence as such not that much questions are being asked from this part but if you want a sure sure win you can't skip anything you can't leave anything so basically if you read 40 to 50 pages on post independence you can cover post independence easily because few topics you need to read so uh, as i told be a true examination was more centric on world history this time and coming to dio dio is like not very easy to crack examination by analyzing previous year paper and by seeing dio cut off it is almost um, like by analyzing the paper you can see that dio has a tendency to ask more and more about historiography historians but this year the dio doesn't ask much about historian it ask uh, questions from medieval india so socio economic questions and this uh, it ask a uh, question about historiography but compare if we compare those question from the previous year uh, they were not that much so to dio is very difficult in the sense the uh, the level of uh, factual questions you get are they are very in depth and yeah they are very uh, very difficult like you can see the cut off is just 400 uh, if you see for out of 400 if the topper gets 295 and after the topper everyone ends up in 247 233 then 222 and 201 like this 190s and 140s and this all so the topper is exceptional so if you want to be exceptional so you need to focus on basic very minute detail for you and for historiography as uh, many of us uh, concern our historiography because we don't know how uh, we can do historiography so for historiography you can refer to igno material okay you can read historiography about historiography from the igno material for historiography shekhar banopadhyay as i said has a very good depth about that subject uh, in modern history you have shekhar banopadhyay for the historiography in uh, uh, ancient history you can approach bipin chandra for the historiography and in medieval india there is no such book but you can see uh the end pages of medieval india both of them and if you want a sure sure thing then you can also read dio slippers of ba history this slippers mentions books and suggested reading so you can go through do you can go through these those readings and learn read them study and search the story and be creative and be uh, always what should i say like uh, always wanting to know something new so by doing that you can just do that okay so now coming how what if you you join exam word uh, this program of ms history so what you can get and simply you are a graduate student there is no chance of spoon feeding okay remove this myth there is no spoon feeding 
your hard work is 80 percent uh well 80 percent of your hard work will contribute to your success in the examination 20 percent is the coaching if you take or mentor you have or someone you uh, take guidance from the 20 percent part is of that uh, that person and 80 percent is all you who need to crack this examination so now coming up to the 20 percent part which we will be playing if you want us to play if you want that we should give this uh, uh start this program so the 20 percent part what we will do first thing is mentorship mentorship look you know the resources you know you need to read you know you need to prepare you can analyze the previous year paper but you don't know how to manage out things every second day you feel lost out so here mentorship comes we will tell you what to read what not to read how much time you need to devote to that topic and skip unwanted topic and read them in second reading what you need to put more efforts on how to make notes your doubts keep uh, consistency so to develop it most of the people like we start and after one week we escape no this by this way you can't crack jnu so to crack jnu you need to develop a consistency coaching provides you that if you can't develop it by own coaching provides you by having regular classes we will have test of course without testing yourself your you are like you are doing absolutely zero so what uh, test testing yourself providing you mentorship and providing you explaining you the topics which are very much important like which are you like if we say prehistoric period prehistoric period paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic chalcolithic all of us are like no we can't do this we can't understand so here the role of the teacher come comes we need to make you understand that we need we need to uh, uh, tell you to make notes of that how to make notes and make your doubt clear so if you like i know i know about in this valley or harappan civilization so why do you don't need teacher in that you where you, do you need a teacher you need teacher in prehistoric india you need teacher in post gupta period you need teacher uh, during the advent of british or you need teacher to under to uh, try uh, to make you understand that what was the parallel scenario going on why one by like if uh, one thing was happening in northern india then what was going in southern india at the same time this what uh, teacher is needed for all of these things which you can't do by yourself in just three months so that's the whole teaching concept is all about and you are a graduate student so there, there will not be as such like we will be discussing today's classes on harappan today classes on industry no this is not the right approach we will be discussing about the most difficult topic of that uh, uh, that area then after that i will asking you the topic you want me to discuss yeah, if any then you can ask your doubts i will giving you plans how you can plan your studies what you can do how you can manage your time and i will be being available for your doubts and all the motivation you need because i know i feel so the last if you want anything else from me i will be doing another session on youtube only if you and i will be attaching a link of form if you are interested in the exam in this course of ma history and want that i should mentor you provide you guidance and teach you so you can fill up that form we will have a demo class and if the strength of the course uh reach uh, uh the limit like reach 30 to 50 I will definitely go for a badge for you all 
and will mentor you all regarding the same and with the content in the with the notes i will provide you my sample notes you can take reference from them and make your notes thank you guys have a nice day bye bye take care